Hey guys, what's up? It's Dan again from CryptoCamacho.com, where each day I teach you something valuable about cryptocurrency. Sometimes we talk about trading, sometimes we talk about long-term investing, other times we talk about tools and resources in the cryptocurrency space that may help you profit and make more money with Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and other altcoins in the cryptocurrency space. If you like my videos, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and click the red button and subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, and leave comments in the feedback. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know how the videos are, are helping you or if they're not, right? Let me know if there's any topics that you would like to learn more about. And, you know, today I wanted to give you an update on Bitzler. I wanted to give you an update on my journey using Bitzler, where I'm at. I've been doing it about five, six days at this point, and, and gosh, it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride um, in Bitzler. Uh, I am up and I am making money, but there are some things I want to point out to you specifically about how I'm betting, how I'm using the script, how it's working for me, you know, what types of bets I'm making, what uh, percentage I'm chancing. Um, all those things I'll cover in this video. I want to give you an update on my balance, on how I'm doing, on how I'm generating free Bitcoin, and how it's working out for me. If you like this video, if you want to learn more about Bitzler, you could go to CryptoCamacho.com forward slash Bitzler. I'll put the link in the show notes. I uh, also want to show you a new website, a little microsite that I put together around this Bitzler project that I have going on. But first, let's get to the good stuff. Let's go right to Bitzler. So let's go to Bitzler. Let's look at my account. So you can see my account right now. Uh, we're seeing at 0 0.0246 Bitcoin, right? And I've been consistently growing this for the last five or six days. And I did have one hiccup that I want to show you guys. And I want to uh, mention this video so that you guys don't actually do the same thing. So uh, now that I, I've shown you this really quickly, I'm not going to go ahead and bet yet. But what I would like to do is kind of show you my stats and show you how things are going uh, today in the last few days. So I started this program on November 9th, right, which was about five days ago. Uh, I started with a balance of, it was actually a little bit lower than this, but uh, let's just say this for now. Started with a balance of 0 0.005 Bitcoin and some change, right? And the very first day that I used my script, the, the algorithm that I created that I'll show you here in a moment, the very first day I, I tried this out and implemented it, I actually doubled my account, more than 110% day over day return or ROI. And I thought that was amazing, right? I didn't deposit anything. I didn't withdraw anything. Um, I did make a few updates to this spreadsheet, to the growth tracker. Um, so if you want to download that, it'll be in the show notes as well. But um, so I doubled my account the very first day, right? No deposits, no withdrawals. My I made the first day that I did it, I made 0 0.005 Bitcoin, which, you know, all in all is not a whole lot of money. Um, but, you know, I thought it was great the very first time I used this that I doubled my account. So now let's go into day two. So day two was on November 10th, right? And I'm going to actually uh, give you, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and modify this today. So let's just say uh, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, uh, day seven. And I'll update that later. Okay. So if we look over now at day two, November 10th, I started right with 0 0.015. Bitcoin. I ended the day with 0 0.0133, and which netted me a total of you know 0 0.00794 Bitcoin profit. Right? Did not uh, withdraw anything. I did make a small deposit here. Um, all in all, I ended the day with 0 .2, 0 0.00279 additional Bitcoin, or 26.55% return uh, day over day on my investment. So. Why did the investment or the ROI drop so dramatically? Part of this was my problem. I started betting a little bit too high and it got a little bit more risky and I didn't want to lose my account. So I was betting, you know, a little bit more conservatively towards the end and bumped it up 26%. Still not bad, right? A 26% return, still not bad. The next day is where things got, uh, you know, really, really interesting. So I started my day with an account balance of you know, 0 0.0212 Bitcoin. And that's because I deposited 0 0.0079. So I did deposit a little bit. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to try and increase the account value so that I can start increasing the size of bets that I made. Um, and that's exactly what I did. And so when I did that, I actually increased my account from 0 0.021 to 0 0.027 Bitcoin just like that, right, in the first day. And that's actually a pretty good return, right? That's like $7,500, $100, you know, just really like that from doing nothing. And in the end, I ended up with 27% gain uh, on, my, on my money there. 
Now, one thing I want to note is that um, on this particular day, yeah, on, on this particular day, what happened is that I need to pause this for a sec. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So what happened on this day, why I'm highlighting this right here, is because on November 11th, just a few days ago, this is when Bitcoin crashed. This is when Bitcoin cash skyrocketed and went through the moon. If you remember, Bitcoin was supposed to split and have a hard fork with SegWits 2 uh, on, I believe, November 16th or the 14th, around that time. Um, but they called it off, and they called it off on November 11th. And when they called off that hard fork, hard fork of Bitcoin, what happened is it tanked Bitcoin, and it made Bitcoin cash go way, way up in value. And so I noticed this about 11 o'clock, maybe midnight uh, at night when I was uh, trying to you know, look at my account. And I noticed this and I had no idea what was going on in the cryptocurrency market. I didn't know what was happening with Bitcoin. I, I didn't want it to lose too much value. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to go ahead and withdraw all of my money from Bitsler and I'm going to convert it to Ethereum because I don't know what's happening to Bitcoin and I don't want to lose my entire account. So that's why you see this withdrawal right here. I withdrew the money. Uh, and I did. I actually converted it to uh, to Ethereum, and I just kind of waited, and I I held on it, right? I didn't do any more Bitsler betting. I was just kind of waiting to see what happened. So that kind of delayed me a little bit, right there. So that the next day, when things kind of settled down, uh, you know, in the market with Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, I actually went ahead and deposited that money back into my account and added a little bit additional funds to the account. So I, I the next day on day four on November twelfth. I actually deposited uh, that 0.27 Bitcoin and a bit more, right? Another probably 0.23. Again, so I can increase the value of my account so that I can make bigger bets. And so that's exactly what I did. I started the day off with 0.05 Bitcoin and ended up with 0.56 Bitcoin or a 12% gain. So let's look at that really quickly in terms of value. So 0.05, let's just go over here to, uh, to Google and let's just say 0.05 Bitcoin to USD is about $328. Uh, and then I ended the day right here, 0 0.056 approximately. Let's go ahead and see what that is. Um, so I ended the day up about 40 bucks, 40, 50 bucks in just that one one day, right? So I thought that was, was not bad, 12%. And, uh, oh, actually here's the exact total that I ended up with. And then the next day on day five is when I made a huge, huge mistake, right? And this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about because I did make a mistake and I want to make sure you guys don't make the same mistake because this Bitsler program has a lot of potential, but you really need to run it in the right way. You need to run it in very small increments, two to four minutes increments, right? You need to run it maybe once every hour, maybe twice every hour uh, if you can. And uh, don't over abuse it, don't over bet. You also need to bet conservatively. And I mean very conservatively, like fairly small. Because what happens, if you bet too large, what happens is your bets start doubling. They start doubling and doubling and doubling and they start compounding. And when that happens, you can actually lose your account value very, very quickly. And that's exactly what I did right here. I, I typically have been betting 0 0.00001 every time I bet in these bits or bets. Well, I started increasing that value and I increased it, I think to, it was like 0 0.00001 five or six and I started increasing it higher and when I did that I noticed I, I noticed you know that my account would go down pretty significantly before winning back the earnings and it made me a little bit concerned but I thought you know let's go with it and let's see what happens well what happened was not good right I basically halved my uh, my my account from 0 0.056 to 0 0.022 because I was betting too large. And I don't want that to happen to you guys. I would stick with the small bets of 0 0.0001. I'd go up to maybe 0 0.0003 until your account balance is higher, right? When your account balance is maybe at 0 0.1, then you can go you know, above 0 0.00005. And that's what I'd recommend you do. So that happened to me. I didn't lose my entire account, but I did lose about 60% of my account, which was pretty dramatic, right? I went from like $350, $320 to about $120, something like that. So I wasn't too happy about that, but it was okay. You know, all part of the learning process. Now today on day six, I am back on track. I started the day with 0 0.022 Bitcoin. And right now I'm currently at, let's just go ahead and show you. I'm currently at 0 0.0246. Um, so I've made a bit of profit here. Um, let's go ahead and look at exactly how much I've made uh, today. So I got 0 0.0022 in the balance. Let's go over here and let's just type that in Google real quick. 
So I have a balance of $144.56. That's what I started with this morning. Today, now, whoops, wrong thing here. Today, now I'm at 0 0.0246, and let's see how that compares. Okay, so now, uh, okay, let's see here, 0 0.0024. So now I'm at 162. So I've made about $20 today, approximately. And the day is only about half over. So I still have about half the day. Made about 20 bucks. Hopefully I'm going to make another 20 to $30 a day. Um, so if I can consistently make 40 to $50 a day, which it does seem like it's possible. I've been doing that for the last few days at least. Um, I'll be in good shape. And then incrementally, I will you know, continue to raise up my bets as time goes on. But as my account raises up a bit higher, right? I don't want to increase the bets too much until my account actually raises up uh, probably pretty significantly, right? To point one or point, you know, a little bit higher than that, just to make sure I have enough room to bet and profit at, as I go. And so then when that happens, when I start betting more, rather than making, you know, you know, 40, $50 a day, then I'll start making 60 and 70 and $80 a day, right? Because each time I run the program, I, right now I'm making only a couple dollars, maybe two to $3 every time I run it. If I run it 20 times in a day, right, that can add up pretty significantly, right? 20, $30 a day. But if you start making three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars every single time you run this program, that's when it starts really adding up. Because if you're making $8 a day, and you do this 20 times a day, that's $160 in the day, right? So that's my plan, that's my strategy, and I wanted to give you an update on that. So what I mean by, by increasing the betting, let's just go ahead and do it. Let me uh, go ahead and refresh this. Refresh this page. I'm going to go ahead and grab the script again. Let's go ahead and make some money right now. I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm doing that. Um, okay, so uh, let's see, okay, balance is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase the chance to 50%. I am going to bet pretty conservatively today, right? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do five zeros and a one, and I'm gonna bet very, very conservatively because I just wanna show you. What I was doing before is I was doing four zeros and like a five, right? Which is great, I make a lot more Bitcoin, but, you know, much more quickly. This goes up much more quickly. But it also, the losses compound much more quickly as well. And so the count can drop pretty dramatically, pretty quickly if you're not careful with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and be conservative. Again, we got five zeros and a one, not too much, but let's let's see how we make money and let's see if my account balance uh, can run up again. So I'm gonna go ahead and inspect. I'm gonna go to the console. console. I'm gonna paste in the script. I'm gonna press enter. And I am just gonna watch and monitor very closely. I have my finger on F5. And you can see my account balance is going up and it's going down. And in the end, let's see what it turns out, right? It is going up, you can see. But again, it's betting very, very conservatively. So you can see every time it's betting, it's really only betting you know, uh, a fraction of my account, just to be safe. And you can see the bets are starting to compound, right? And oh, there, I just jumped back up, just made a little bit more money. Again, made another profit. And so you do this for two to four minutes, you know, every maybe two times an hour um, or every hour, and then it just keeps going up and it keeps compounding over time. Now I wanna pay very, very close attention to this because I do not want my account balance to drop um, too much. But see, now it's at 2468, right? And I was at 2467 before we started this call. Oh, going back down to 2467. Oh, back to 24682, it's going up a little bit. So this is a slow way of making money, right? But it's also a safety net so that you do not lose all of your account in you know a few bets. So let so let this go just a little bit longer, and you could kind of see how the account's starting to drop down now. It's at two four six instead of two four eight, which it was. Oh, bounced back up to two four eight. Fantastic. I'm gonna let this run for about one or two more minutes. Let's get in one uh, one more really good profit here, and then we'll go ahead and shut it off. So I'm waiting pretty patiently right now. Uh, I just want to see if it profits here. Still going down, and this is exactly what I mean. Why well, you guys got to be careful here. So my account balance is still going and just keep watching here. It's compounding, it's compounding and it's going down a little bit, but it will bounce back here. Oh, there it goes, bounce back. I'm gonna stop it now, 24.68.5. All right, so, all right. So you can see that I just ran this and uh, just made some additional Bitcoin for free. So, okay, so now there's one other thing I wanted to show you today. Uh, I'm putting together actually a little micro site about this Bitzler project that I'm working on. Um, and if you guys would be interested, you can go to cryptocamacho.com forward slash Bitzler dash download. The URL is right here if you're interested. 
you could go check it out and I'm going to set up this little microsite and update it, you know, as time goes on. Um, basically, it's the video of what I'm doing with Bitzler. You guys should have already seen this. It's on YouTube. If not, go to my, some of my previous videos. Um, and then, you know, you can actually go here and download the Bitzler script yourself. Um, and you can actually go and activate your Bitzler account here as well. Uh, okay, so what what is this for? Um, this is really just to, to help people learn about Bitzler, to help people, you know, uh, understand what it is. It's more of a promotional page that I just wanted to share with you guys. If you guys could go to the page, make a comment here. would love for you to engage in this, but wanted to just kind of show you what I'm uh, putting together as part of this project. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. Again, this is day six of my Bitzler journey. I will keep you posted on how things improve or not um, as we go through this journey. Thank you to everybody who has signed up to Bitzler under my affiliate link. Really appreciate that. Um, if you guys are interested in joining as well, you could go to CryptoCamacho.com forward slash Bitzler. It's just forward slash Bitzler. That'll go right to uh, Bitzler and you could sign up for an account and I will get a, a, you know, a, per, a referral fee for, for adding you guys on there. Would really appreciate if you do that. Before you leave, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Love, love to do this for you guys. And it's very, really fun for me to do it as well. Um, but until next time, I'm Dan from Crypto Camacho. And uh, go to CryptoCamacho.com. Learn a little bit more about cryptocurrency. And until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. See you guys.